Hello there. In a sad anti-democratic move, the members of the House of Lords have set out their stall of opposition to the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill. Peers sat on the red benches of the House of Lords have already made their intentions clear over the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill. The bill is designed to remedy the shocking way that the EU tries to enforce the protocol to the dangerous detriment to the Belfast Agreement. That many peers are content for the peace in Northern Ireland to be endangered in such a way is breathtaking. The bill had received its third and final reading in the Commons and then went to the Lords for its first reading where it was met with jeers, laughter and shouts of they'll be lucky. How unedifyingly undemocratic of them. As I've said before, by the time that crowd of red bench polishers has finished with it, the bill will look more like an EU rejoin application than a UK law designed to keep the UK as one functioning country. That bunch of anti-UK, pro-EU jokers have the gall to take UK taxpayers' money while they conspire to break up the country. Now what gets me is that the Tories have the most peers in the House of Lords at 253, outnumbering Labour, the Lib Dems and the Greens combined at 166, 83 and 2 respectively. But according to Parliament.uk, there are a total of 762 peers sitting in the Lords, 185 of them cross-bench. And the Tories therefore only have one third of them, and even then many of those Tory peers are totally committed to the EU. And I think the massive pro-EU blob in there will slow this bill down as much as they can before flatly rejecting it, so delaying it for a year before the Commons can force it through. The Lords are obviously hoping that they can delay the bill long enough to force the government to either cave in and hand Northern Ireland over to Brussels, or for them, better still, for the government to sign the UK back up to single market rules to make the protocol problem go away, and so that the UK can be ruled by the EU once again. And now that Boris has been ejected from the scene, they think they can do this. So it all relies on the grit of the new resident in number 10. Isn't it strange that every time the EU and Ramonas get involved, democracy is thrown out of the window?